namshwaya and a very good day to one and all so here begins your english class before entering to the class let's go with our today's task it was our gayatri's turn to present a quote on nature and she has come up with that let's go through that if we approach nature with love it will serve as our best friend a friend that won't let us down delivered by amma that's right dear not only that amma has said amma has asked us to live in harmony with nature which will build a healthy mind in us thank you gayatri with this we are going to our today's topic i hope all of you are ready with your text and a pencil please take page number 123 here comes the topic and the topic is meadows surprises so we are going to talk about the nature here and now just turn the page you can see our poet please underline the name of the poet that is louis branded philip right again come back to the first page in the first page you are having a beautiful picture greenery just have a look over that one and start analyzing just find out what are the different things that you are being seen in that picture yes you are seeing a rabbit you are seeing butterfly many flowers all those right now let's go with the poem before that let's introduce our poet here comes our poet that is louis branded philip he is an american writer who is encouraging us to have a keen observation in the nature so that you can see it is filled with many surprises with the help of poem meadows surprises he is to convey that point let's go with the poem meadows surprises what is the meaning of meadows please underline the word meadow and write down a grassland let me show another picture see there are different types of things been seen in the meadows you can see flowers you can see butterflies you can see many other things this is what we see at first glance but here the poet is asking us to look more deeper then you will find out what is there now talking about the poem it consists of six stanzas dear and we are just going through the first two stanzas okay so before explanation let's go through the poem and here is the poem meadows have surprises you can find them if you look walk softly through the velvet grass and listen by the brook you may see a butterfly rest upon a buttercup and unfold its drinking straws to sip the nectar up a very simple poem which is talking about the nature the features of nature let's go with the first stanza here goes meadows have surprises you can find them if you look walk softly through the velvet grass and listen by the brook here the poet is asking us is telling that the meadows is being compared with velvet it's very soft it seems this grass land is just like a soft and when you are going through these meadows you can feel the music that is being played by a brook now what is this brook yes it's a small river please underline brook and write down small river and what is this river doing it's playing a music and that can be enjoyed only when you observe it keenly then only you will notice that otherwise as i said before only leaves butterflies only that right so this is what in the first stanza it is been described now let's go with the second stanza in the second stanza what is that you are seeing you may see a butterfly rest upon a buttercup and unfold its drinking straws to sip the nectar up 
so here once again the poet is telling that you can see many butterflies before that let me show the picture here also in this picture you can see different flowers and different types of butterflies and what is that they are doing they are just sitting over the butterfly and having the nectar you know what is it it's the honey this is what we see we all of us see but what the poet is trying to tell us to find out the surprise in that thing it is nothing but you may see a butterfly sitting on a buttercup now buttercup start assuming what can be the meaning of that one yes please underline buttercup and write down it is flower so in this flower the butterfly is coming and sitting and if you observe keenly you can see that it is having a straw how this straw is coming there it is its tongue that is being dipped in the flower and having the sucking the nectar you can see that one so beautifully the tongue is been described as a straw by the poet in this poem so once again i'm repeating the same lines you may see a butterfly rest upon a buttercup and unfold its drinking straws to sip the nectar up so this is what can be enjoyed only when you look deep into the nature otherwise just the butterfly will be coming and sitting going finished no just try to find out those surprises right so once again the lines i'm repeating and have the picture in your mind meadows have surprises you can find them if you look walk softly through the velvet grass and listen by the brook you may see a butterfly rest upon a buttercup and unfold its drinking straws to sip the nectar up so nice sweet lines to memorize also right so here comes the end of two stanzas in this you can just find out try to find out the rhyming words yes that is surprises grasses and again the next one it is look in the second line and brook in the fourth line similarly in second stanza you can find out buttercup and the other one is up so these are the rhyming words that is seen in this poem so the next task that i am going to give to you is for the next class you can by heart any one of the stanza and send me an audio clip so that i can have a discussion in the class let me find out the different voice modulation and just send it okay dears thank you and have a nice day namshivaya